Hi there, it's Lisa with Juju Crafts. I joined a swap at Loaded Envelopes Galore over on Facebook, and the theme is a loaded witch's hat. And since I didn't have enough room in my witch's hat, because I made a sort of a smaller one, I made a box to go with it. I'm going to try to not be such a gabber as I usually am, and just pull things out and show you what all I've made and what all's in it. Might say a few things. Hopefully I don't become a gab monster like I usually do. But either way, hope you enjoy it. I'll skim around it a little bit. And then I'll pause and put up my camera and start taking it apart. I forgot how many fuzzies are in burlap, or I shouldn't have used that as my base to put everything on. So now you get to see all kinds of fuzzies stuck on everything from the burlap. Be right. So one of the requirements was a chunky charm dangle, and I found this little book of secrets at the dollar store, and I also made a chunky charm. I made a little bit ago. And I had made a little cauldron out of some polymer clay with just some anil still on it. And let's see if I can just show you a few other little things on it. I love Chucky Charm Dingles. Um, any album scraps always has a lot of Charm Dingle swaps and I always participate in those and like with this one I've made myself one so I'm going to pass along. Putting my little bottle of eyeballs. Love my eyeballs. Be cute. Little soldered witches thing. It's a little rough around the edges but it's what it's supposed to be. I even got an eyeball in my little cauldron. Yeah, that's a lot of fun stuff. I think that looks like a candy, like one of those butterscotch candies. It's just a little plastic bead. How fun is that? Another thing that I made for my partner is something that every witch needs. And every witch needs her own wand. So I made her a wand. Just some polymer and some beads and some hot glue and some alcohol inks and just anything else I could throw on. This little stone right here is a glow-in-the-dark stone, so it might look out of place, but once the sunlight hits it at night, it'll glow for a little while. thought that made it extra fun, too. I'm including a Prima doll tag that I made in another swap and made myself a copy. I love her very much. I hands, well, not hands, with that. I used machine and sewed her a little cape and made her little shoe bows out of resin, and then these are just from eBay and then some little Things. But this is just brown paper that I ran through a wood, I guess like wood themed embossing folder, and then um, tore it, not tore it, cut it in little strips, and then just a necklace chain. And it came out pretty fun, I think. Just something extra fun. At the dollar store, they have those little, I guess, uh, what would you call it? A garland of little cheap witches, I mean, of skeletons, and there's like six on a strand. And so I took one of the little skeletons and put it under my uh, heating gun and bent her up to where she's in a seating position, covered her in some hot glue, some alcohol inks, made her a little hat out of muslin, and gave her some blue hair from a little hair clip I had. I keep threatening my son I'm going to dye my hair blue in my 50s, and he's like, eh, you don't think I'm too old for this. But she has a little book, a little spell book. thought she turned out pretty cute. On to what's in the drawer at the box store is two little packets that I decorated for Halloween with some orange zesty flavored herbal teas. So sweet orange. I love that tea. It tastes really good with some cream in it as well. And I love this spoon. I found it on Amazon for like a buck or two. And I bought them last year, but I never found any purpose for them. Well, I did find purposes for them, but I was hoarding them. And then a little poison tag. A little shaker element. Um, it's one of Tim Holtz owl stickers on the back. And so inside it's got a little post-it note. One of those little itty bitty ink pens. This is the, um, I think it's Anna Griffin had a shaker card kit, and so that's the pumpkin out of it. Makes just perfect for shakers, so you can have multiple layers. This was just a little dollar item from Walmart. A little drink cozy. 
Um, let's see here. This was actually a dollar store, I guess, wand that was filled with candy corn. And I had bought one for me and for my son. And my son ate some of it. And he's like, this is like the hardest candy corn ever. So I emptied this one and inked up the the pumpkin a little bit, added a little bit of this. I made a, my first attempt at making a wire um, spider. I've made deeded spiders and they're beautiful, but this was like a, just mostly focused on the wire and it was just a fun video on YouTube. I can't remember who, who it was then. So inside, instead of candy corn, I decided to put some buttons and some beads and some ribbons to have um, a way to give some charms that were more in a Halloween mood instead of just sticking them in a box or an envelope. And then one of the other requirements was to have four handmade embellishments that our partner could reuse on a Halloween project. So I just used a variety of bows and just stuck a few little things on like some little filthy goose. Really simple is just an envelope that I made with some paper that I've had for a while. It was actually gifted to me by X Montano. She has some great videos on YouTube. And just put some die cuts in there with a little magnet closure. And one of the other requirements was for uh, some tags. You had to have at least four tags, I believe, that represented potions or spells. And they could be recipes, so that's the direction I went. And used some paper from Graphic 45, as well as a few others. And I'll just run through them real quick and show you what I threw in there, because I think it turned out really cute. Uh, Tim Holtz die. Doesn't Tim Holtz make some of the most fun dies ever? And that's just uh, some clip art. All the witches in here are just clip art that I printed off and uh, fussy cut out. I saw this and I renamed things to match my little theme. So these are just a, a deep chocolate salted caramel cookie. So I named them Cauldron Scrapings because they look like Cauldron Scrapings to me. And so that's my first tag recipe. The next one is Little Kitty Cat. And I bought this die years and years ago, and I don't think I've ever used it, so I just stuck it on there now so it looks like a cat under a dome. That way I can feel like I actually used it since I paid for it. Uh, just eyeballs, which I'm actually getting ready to make these. It's just the Oreo eyeballs where you just combine crushed Oreos and, and um, cream cheese and dip them in chocolate. And then that way you can make them look like little eyeballs. So here's the little recipe. this one that's actually a stamp another one of those things that you look through in your supplies and you realize hey i have a lot of stuff that i've never used yeah that's one of mine too and why well, halloween wouldn't be great without harry potter hot butter beer um there's a couple of recipes out there some of them are supposed to be like the disneyland butter beer and it's a cold drink but this one's the warm hot butter beer acorn kisses another easy recipe for fall where you just take some vanilla wafers and chocolate frosting and add and just stick on a Hershey kiss and a butterscotch tip to make some little acorns. And a little potion. This is uh, one that I really like too. It's um, one that you can make in your crock pot so that you can just fill it up and leave it. And it's uh, it was for witches cauldron hot chocolate. And I don't think there's anything on this tag. It's just sort of a placeholder. Love that little kitty cat witch. That was the cutest little clip art. But for mummy dust, I love that tag. But it's not really mummy dust. I think some people call them muddy buddies. So, you know, it's the checks covered in chocolate, peanut butter, and uh, powdered sugar. I'm from, I was born and raised in West Virginia, and we actually call it puppy chow, but it's a little bit different. With puppy chow, you add like the whole bag of chocolate and almost a half a can of peanut butter. Anyway. And a little nugget little tag with magic is believing in yourself. If you can do that, you can make anything happen. Nice little die cut, little ivy stamp. Just fun. Lots and lots of little ribbons. The requirement was to have two little treat bags that you'd handmade. Uh, so anyway, I thought that was just too cute of a way. I was trying to figure out what to do with these little plastic teeth. And I had was going to give my partner this couple yards here of green spotted ribbon. Hey, why not? Let's wrap them up in the teeth. But for my two little treat bags, I just used a Tim Holtz treat bag die and some Anna Griffin stickers. And this one just has, of course, the idea is for your partner to be able to put treats in it to give to people for Halloween. But I decided to put her a few little treats in it too. 
So this way she can have some baker's twine on some mixed media tags I threw together and a little Halloween tag. This one with spooky salutations. And inside of it is I made her a handmade little teeny teeny little book, which makes me so happy. I love the little leaves on it. And it's so neat. I just got some twine that I stuck a few beads on. And trust me, the hardest part about making this was putting the beads on the twine because they it I had to search through every little thing to find beads that had a big enough hole. I never thought of that part. And I didn't have a needle that fit the twine, so yay. I did um, make some papers that I've been making some little bitty books. And I threw it together like you would signatures in a junk journal to make it more fun for me. So that way it's just little beady. So there's a signature. There's a signature. There's a signature. I was going to put um, a lot of other little things, you know, stamps. And I did stamp some images just, you know, to make it like spider webs and stuff. But um, I decided to leave it blank in case she wanted to pass it along or stick a few notes in it herself or turn it into her own little spell book. Anyway, how cute is that? It makes me happy. Here's a little mini Halloween book. Um, looks like it has picked up every single piece of fuzz from the burlap. But I had made these to go with charm dingles a while back, and I had one left over because, as usual, I'm a hoarder and I keep things, for, make things for myself, and then I don't know what to do with them. I thought it was just sort of fun. Just a little bitty one that she can pass along. Uh, it's got a few little tags in it and a few little things in it that are just fun for Halloween. So, some extra tags you can use for gift tags. Or... This is the um, Tim Holtz graveyard edging die and I just covered it in glitter glue or glitter actually glue and glitter and got a few little tags in here isn't that like the best die ever with the apothecary bottles that Tim Holtz made and let's see here one of them I made really funky I remember this let's see here don't you just love fluorescent paint that's just a Tim Holtz die with fluorescent paint and splatter and this one opens up really oddly. It was one of those things where I had made a lot of score lines and then wasn't sure I was going to fold it. So it ended up doing this. So if she decides to put pictures in it or pass it along, it's just got a lot of variety where she can stick some pictures in. And then the box itself is actually pretty big. It's almost, um, you know, it's, I think it's like nine inches by nine inches, and I put these little metal um, you call it, corners on it. And on the bottom, it has little feet. And when I was trying to put it together, I thought, okay, this is going to have to be sturdy because it's going to have to be shipped, and it's going to be full, and it's going to be packed. And so I needed some way to make sure that it stayed together, other than just gluing and doing the the usual little um, pieces of paper to bend and stick on. So I actually used black duct tape to hold it together, and then I put. Uh, you know, the paper over the edges to hide the edges of the duct tape. I think it turned out pretty good. I like it. Love that paper. With the gold embossing on it. This is my big candy box that I've stuck some clips on to help me when I film. Usually I don't have things this big to film or to take pictures of, so usually you don't see the, the clips on it. But that's alright. Makes it sort of fun to see how other people do things. So hold on here and I will show you the actual loaded witch's hat. Okay, so our hostess gave us a template of a witch's hat that we could cut out of just cardstock and then stick it together. I did decide to make mine out of the thick chipboard though, so it could last. Um, I really have a hard time when things are all crushed that I make. I, you know, some people send you things and I don't mind if theirs is messed up, but if mine gets all messed up, I feel horrible. Um, but I'm just going to take it apart and show you piece by piece what I'm putting in it. So this is just a big uh, clothes pin that I painted black. And I loved it that this was actually the way it was in the package. It was missing a corner. I thought, well, that has to be perfect for Halloween. A little tiny piece of some amazing lace that I bought from Treasure Deluxe. Tresor Deluxe, I guess, or Tresor Deluxe. I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, and of course, you, when you pay seven or eight dollars a yard, you always want to save every little nip and piece. And I was glad I did because it turned out pretty cute on there. There is a little orange pom pom. Yep, we can get it off of here. Probably don't need to get it off of there, but eh, that's be fun to put it back there. Just a little pom pom. Uh, you know, these are like three dollars, three or four dollars from Walmart. The little pom poms, and usually they have a little pearl or something, a little keychain. Uh, but if you go on eBay and just bid here and there, 
you, you know, you look for things that are free shipping and sadly, yes, they come from China. I know we need to try to buy more in the country, but, um, I get it for 16 cents. So Tina, yeah, I'm cheap. So I'm giving you a 16 cent pom pom and it was even free shipping from China. I'm not too sure it can get much cheaper than that. The rose, I don't know if I explained this already. I might have. So if I did, excuse me, but the rose from the dollar store, they had these cute roses that had these little eyeballs in them and they made me so happy. And so, but the thing was, is that they only had like four layers of petals. And so it looked really chintzy. So I bought two or three of the dollar stems that had like five roses on them. And then I combined them all together to make really thick plush roses. Um, given my partner one of them, and then I'm keeping the rest for a base. So there was a requirement of two wands. These are those dollar store pumpkins. Um, they looked a little chintzy by themselves. So I put some Tim Holtz, um, I can't even think of the word now, washi tape on the stem of it and add a little ribbon. This is just floral wire that I rolled into swirls. And this is a, a beaded fern, which I think looked pretty cool. And a McGill punch. I just doubled it because to me it does look like a pumpkin leaf in a way. I think it makes it a more cute little one that we can stick it somewhere in our house if she wants to. I love glitter. And that's exactly the same that I did for these other two little, little tiny pumpkins. It's just a washi tape and add some, some wire here and there. You'll see lots of little paper clips. Um, I thought this was just a fun idea to take some of the, you know, dollar store again, the cheap, um, you know, get a little bag of leaves. And I just put one on the front, hot glue in the middle. And what a fun little thing. Plus it's great for your books to mark your recipes or to, when you're reading a book for fall and you just want to curl up. My favorite one that I made is again, with the, using the, uh, Anna Griffin, uh, pumpkin from the, her shaker card kits and the dies um there's more dies with it but this one was the one that makes just the insert and the outsert black and so this way i just used you know the dollar store boa the black ones put a little bit around that and some more floral and one of the requirements too was candy can't get by without candy so i just took some of the treasures type of candies from hershey and we, I think most of us have seen this before, where you just wrap up the candy. And I just decorate it up with a few little glittery things. Okay, this is uh, confetti. Two pieces of the glitter pumpkin confetti from Walmart. But I went to go put one of my giant clips on it. And it just sort of looked out of place. It was like this gigantic silver or gold thing that would be stuck on it. I don't think it's showing up too much. So I took a piece of annealed steel and roughly, and I meant to rough it up, make it look like it was an old beat up paper clip. So I handmade a beat up paper clip, but it still works great. And to me, it looks more Halloween-y than me. Remember when Tim Holtz was doing his uh, tag of the month type of um, activity and he would get on there and he would show us some new techniques. I made this tag then and it was with one of his stamps. And so it was a raven, so it's got a lot of texture paste. And this is from his die set where it has just there's like I don't know 120 letters in it so you can make your own statements um and it just turned out fun I thought and I love love texture paste on everything it just adds the best little details ah I like this one too another one of the Tim Coffee um at least I think it's his name stickers and I had these flowers that I had bought a long long time ago and I took them apart and I saved them and now they have a home there's that little wand. Everybody's got love some spiders. So this is what the witch's hat would look like on the front if it didn't have anything in it. So it's just got the raven paper. And I did use a Tim Holtz um, edging die with a fence to make one of the pockets. Again, more leaves. Ah. Okay, these were too cute. These were from the dollar store as well. You got two in a package. I did put some um, some Tim Holtz washi tape on the sticks so to cover up the plain sticks. But how fun is that with two little witchy boots? Now for the other side, with my witch's hat. This was fun. Again, another eBay find. It is an ink pen. Make sure I'm still in frame. So it's an ink pen. I think it's an ink pen. Yeah. But it's also, dun dun, a knife! 
bright light. Okay, is that not the coolest thing ever? I could not resist those when I saw them. Night light. And I guess this is where you can plug it in and keep it with your phone or something like a it's one of those fake plugs. Again, it's uh, Walmart confetti. Just I did put some foam tape in that one to give it a little bit more dimension. Another one of those little bitty pumpkin ones. We need a bitty tag with some embossing on it. And this was when I first started playing with the uh, Tim Holtz oxides. So I thought it was sort of fun to play with those. I, I think I've actually had this tag for about a year and a half now, but never had it real life until now. This one made me giggle. A long time ago when I was walking out of Joann's, it was on a Halloween, and they have those stamps sometimes at the end for a dollar, and it was just this one big eyeball, so I picked it up and threw it in there. Never had used it. Perfect time. Another little clip, and I've just put some alcohol inks and some glossy accents. And I had bought these Halloween fake eyelashes. They came in like this monstrous set. So hey, now it's got lots of little foo faces all around. Again, a little glitter leaf. Some decoration. This guy, okay, I got it a while back ago. And it is for just decorations, but it also uh, has a little clip. So that made it pretty convenient. So I don't lose it. I'm just going to stick it back on there. So this is the back side of my witch's thing. Oh. Everybody has to have a toy. So, you know, the bouncy ball things. I'm sure from the dollar store it's not the best one in the world, but hey, it looked pretty cute, so I had to get it. I don't know if there's anything else done in there or not. There's more leaves. More leaves stuck everywhere. Oh, remember this? The Stampin' Up Owl Punch. I forgot I had that one, so I had decided to make a little paper clip too, because I hadn't used him for a long time. I forgot how fun he was. I think that's all that's in there. Yep. So, there it is. My witch's hat floated envelope bat hat cats and all how fun is that and i'm gonna really miss this boa actually i've been fighting to make sure that it got to stay in one piece and then eh, here i am i cut it all apart um to get this on the top here i just stuck some um what do i call it it's the marking stuff watermark stuff can't think of it now anyway and then i just dipped it into some gold ranger ut and just to try to give the edges something more than just the, because I hate cardboard edges, they look so horrible. I did go around it with some gold to make it more fun. And, oh, yeah, another little wire spider. So I hope you all have a very wonderful evening. Scoopy, 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 weirdo Halloween. <laughs>